Greetings, travelers! You are passing through the domain of the Eastern Cenozoic Traveling Players, where the domain where line where chaos becomes destiny as you discover the role you were always meant to play. Where chaos becomes destiny as you discover that you were always meant to line. Cack, Kuto. You were so good at the rehearsal. Just give me the line and stop whining. Uh, fellas, let's just fight. This is boring, and I get very cranky when I'm bored. It's true. By the one law, I challenge you to the ritual. Should have left me alone. Pseudo, I'm cold.
so cold. with the weapons, and I will live in the battle. skies.
wind is too freezy.
I'm an actor. All right, impress me. Uh, I am King Stinky. I am King Stinky, Lord of the Rathbirds. Alas, my kingdom is poopy. So now I wander the wild with my trusty friend, a mighty umbrella called Snudo. Riveting. It needs some work. Really cold, Pseudo. I'm frozen to the bone, too. We need to find shelter. Look, a cave! Can we take shelter there? Let's find out. Stay here. Watch my stuff. I'll go see if this cave is safe. I told you they would get me. The director, he said... My role in the story is, I have to be the thief. Pseudo! Pseudo! My brother came and stole all your stuff, even the dice! I couldn't stop him. Enter the warrior and his ward. They are surprised to find themselves in the amphitheater. Only now does the warrior begin to suspect that his fate is already written. No such thing as fate. Observe the supreme irony of the warrior's story. His very belief in freedom is what propels him towards the destiny he cannot avoid. That is the essence of tragedy. Fancy words for a bully. We all have our roles to play, warrior. And there is comfort in that. Look at the chaos that surrounds us. At this rudderless nightmare that is Xenozoic. The world is a narrative, my friend. A performance. And this is what happens when we stop playing our part. And you know how the story's supposed to go, huh? I do indeed. 
Oh, I would not be so presumptuous as to say I know everything. But once, when I was a boy, I was lucky enough to hear a fragment of the melody of the spheres. The great symphony that determines the shape of creation. It was then that I understood why the world has gone so wrong. And I dedicated myself to restoring the true narrative. And what happens now? The warrior reveals himself to be the fool. Defiantly, he drinks the poison as the ritual dictates. And so, he is defeated by himself as much as by his opponent. The end. Pseudo, don't do it! So let's say I play along. What happens if I win? Trying to negotiate with fate. Very well. If you win, you get my great shield artifact. Now you're talking. Give me that poison. And so begins the final scene. Impossible. You lied. You don't know the true narrative. No. No. I heard it. He lied to us. No. I heard it. It was real. It was so beautiful. And I thought I could. I could. We gave up everything for you, and it was all a lie. Please. No. I, I don't understand. It's Zenith's like. Oh, what is there to understand? The poison is killing him! Help him! There's... There's nothing to be done. I should stop. No. Keep it going a bit longer. It's working. It's hurting you. You're very weak. I owe him. And you. It's enough. I'm back. I'm sorry, Sudo. I'm ashamed. You should be. You didn't want the responsibility. You wanted to take the easy way out, pass the burden off to someone else. So you could go back to your life. Keep stewing in your own misery. You can't change what you did, but you can try to do better. You can fight the problem at its source. <laughs>